Today, I finally get the extremely rare blue axolotl. I built an amazing shulker farm that can only be done on the new update. I also found something extremely rare after a bit of exploration and magma cream. <laughs> I now have lots and lots of magma cream. Not sure if the golems are happy with that though. First, I'm going to go on a journey. A journey to unexplored lands. Because I am on a quest to find a brand new item. It was added in 1.17 and it can only be found in shipwrecks. Yes. The moss block. And whilst I've found some dripstone, I'm also going to grab it. And what do we have here? Another amethyst geode. I might grab this. Look, I've got some clusters at least. Can't really be bothered to mine up much more. I found another shipwreck. But this time, no moss blocks. The ocean seems to have come to an end. I can bone mill more moss if I need it, so I'm just going to sleep. I haven't really tested moss blocks before. But if I grab some dirt and a bit of bone mill, then I can create more moss blocks. And look at this, a little azalea tree. I think it's azalea, but there we go. This is brand new leaves. And what is this? Is it some sort of moss carpet? Hey, we've got, we've got loads of new blocks just now. Unfortunately, this is just boring oak wood. I don't know where this came from, but it, it dropped. Is this like the, the sapling version of those? And finally, some rooted dirt. I believe if you bone meal rooted dirt, look at that, you get roots below it. I should get two more of these things, so... I'm just gonna let them grow on their own. This is just a different kind of decoration. What's that, Mr. Goat of Minecraft? You want something to eat? Well... You now live off moss. Now for something I said I'd never do again. I'm going to bring home a shulker. I have many end gateways to choose from, but I'm just going to go for this one. Because 1.17 added a new feature where if a shulker hits itself or another shulker, it spawns another shulker. And that means we have a way to farm unlimited shulker shells. And this is the shulker that I'm going to kidnap. Okay, that didn't work. We're a lot lower than we should be. So the best way to do this is just going to be to tower it up. Oh my goodness, you just got out of the boat. That's not supposed to be possible. They seem to have made this a lot harder in 1.17. Oh my goodness, the shulker just died. So I need a new plan. I'm going to head back home, grab some healing items. And then this time, if the shulker gets hurt, I'll be able to get it back to full health. Shulker number two. Let's carefully drop down and get moving. Excuse me, guys. You're going to have to move out of the way. Now for the next step, jump out of the boat. Okay, that's fine. Place a piston right here and add some blocks and fire it through the gateway. I'm pretty sure that worked. Let's head through and have a quick look. We're in. There's a shulker here. Okay, I've got to move now. You see, the next issue is how do I get a shulker through all of that? I guess the only way is to make some repairs onto this. And it's going to take a lot of blocks to do that. It would make sense to build it out of endstone or obsidian, but I'm just going to use blocks that I've got loads of. And there we go. All the water has been patched up. Well, except for the water that was in this soul sand tube. Now, when I do this, does, does it all disappear? Look at it. Look at it all washing away. It really is a beautiful sight. I've just got to patch up this bit as well. Look at that. This kind of reminds me of the saying that nature is healing itself. Although in this instance, it had a little help. I can definitely fix this farm now. It's not really that far off. But right now, the focus is going to be on the shulker. First, I'm going to place a boat that goes through. Next, I need to get rid of this stupid enderman. Shulker on there. And let's send him up. We're on the home straight. Only one thing can go wrong now. If the shulker doesn't get out of the boat. There we go. That's good. Let's push him like that. Okay. He's teleported. Where did he... Where did he go? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is this is why I hate shulkers. A disaster is starting to happen. <laughs> the shulker has multiplied. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, <laughs> because I can't wear armor because it's got thorns on it that would take out the shulkers, I've just used up a totem. Plenty more where that came from. I've had just about enough of this. First of all, I'm going to get rid of you. There we go. Next, I'm going to get you into a boat and finally get you to go to the overworld. I just go like that. Okay, when he opens up... Nope, that's not quite worked. We need to do one more. There we go. Now, when he opens... Come on, open up fully. Don't mess about. Come on. There we go. He's, he's finally gone through. Also, guys, I'm trying to get 3 million subscribers, but there's a channel called Happy Kids TV Nursery Rhymes that looks like it's going to beat me. So please, just subscribe and help me to win this battle. And now I'm leaving this shulker alone and going somewhere else. Somewhere where I can mend up my elytra. And if you're wondering, the gold farm is the place for that. The quest for the blue axolotl still continues. So let's grab more of these buckets of tropical fish and see if we can get one. And still no success, so it's time for a new plan. Let's take more stone and make a little bit of tinted glass. I also want normal glass, some magma, and finally some buckets. Next, I need to move away from all those axolotls at my house. And I've decided I'm gonna build this by my melon farm so it can be working in the background. I like this little area. Well, I will do once I've got rid of these trees. Well, what's going on over here? Whoa, whoa, do not. Are you trying to kill my shulkers? Oh my goodness, I, that's it. Float away, you, you big bully, okay? Oh my goodness, I did not know this. I am so sorry, little fella. I will not let that happen again. Okay, that's slightly annoying. He now just teleported out of that little box. Oh my goodness, something killed the shulker. I don't know what... Uh, was it the golem? Did the golem... Are you kidding me? Did the golem really get him? Oh no, I... I, I, I 
Oh, stupid creeper. Well, moving swiftly on, time to get that blue axolotl. I'm also going to change the walls to be iron blocks so that the axolotl is easier to see. And there we go. This room is finished. Just need to grab a couple of buckets of water and start filling it up. There we go, completely full. Now time to block all of this up. And if I move her over in this direction, when I come back, there should be axolotls. And there we go, we've got some. And now for the next part of the mechanism. First, I'm going to dig out a tunnel. Then I'm going to place walls like this. And these are going to go up very high indeed. I'm 100 blocks up. That should probably be enough. Next, I'm going to fill in this bit using glass. If you couldn't tell, I'm just basically making this up as I go along. Let's add some water right here. And the next thing I need in the build is kelp. And the ocean is the perfect place to find that. All of that is definitely going to be enough. Next, I put down kelp going all the way to the top. Break all of that. And then put down some water at the bottom here. And I can look in here. Okay, no blue axolotls. So we just jump here. It's going to take me all the way up. Then I can chill up here for a little bit. And when I want to drop back down, I just go like this, land in the water and see what new axolotls we've got. If on average I get three axolotls per time, then that means I'm going to have to do this 400 times. Also, that water keeps freezing and I lost a totem because of it. Thankfully, for a short amount of time, this was a torch farm, so I... I have a few torches and that will stop any more freezing from happening. So now I'm going to spend the next few days going up and down here until I get the blue axolotl to show up. And I'm also going to build this up a little bit more because it doesn't quite go high enough. And there we go. The extension is complete. I guess I'll see you when I've got the blue one. I've been trying for ages. Still no blue axolotl. But the real good news is that it is finally snowing. And that means powdered snow is on the way. It's been a long time coming. Look at this. It is indeed working. It's filling up. I waited till it finished snowing to see if we could fill up a cauldron. And we didn't quite. So uh, I've got to wait for another snowstorm. Back to axolotl hunting it is. We've got one. We have got a blue axolotl. Oh my goodness, this took so, so long. I can't begin to tell you how many times I've been up and down that spout, but all right, let's get this guy in a bucket so that he can't despawn. There we go. Blue axolotl has been obtained. I may have been unsuccessful in getting powdered snow, but at least I did something right. This guy is going to get his own special tank for now. All the walls to this tank can be made from ice. Let's also fill it up with water. And this little fella can go right there. There we go. Plus, if I get some tropical fish and pick up an axolotl, then this guy can be released here. I can breed them together if I'm careful. There we go. There's a chance to get a blue one now. It's a 50-50 chance, more or less. We got a yellow one. Are you kidding me? I'll have to wait a bit before breeding them again, but at least we made progress. And for my next task, I'm going to have to get another shulker. I've got the shulker. Let's get him home. Finally, another shulker has gone through and I think this golem just took him out. But don't worry, they multiply. So there's another one right here. I've got him through. We've also got an enderman stowaway. Now that that's done, I can finally begin building the shulker farm. And before I can build the farm, I need to clear out some space, which means some good old deforestation. Now this chunk is mined out and all the trees around it have also been removed. So we're going to come to the southwest corner of this chunk and build up a load of blocks. This should be enough. Now we're going to build out seven slabs like this. And I'm going to staircase up nine slabs like this and get rid of these excess blocks. And I would also like to thank Ray's Works for the tutorial for this. I'll link it in the description. And what I've done here is make a snake-like pattern of these slabs all the way across the top. And for the next step, I'm going to need to go back and get some rails. I've gathered up nearly all of the items I need. I just need to go and find a load more redstone. And as well as redstone, I'll also need a cobweb. I've decided just to search for a random cave on the way and then it's got a better chance of not being explored. This cave was rubbish, so I'm digging down. And we've come into a bigger cave. And this one also doesn't have redstone. But the strip mine led me straight to it. Already I've got a sack and a half. This is going to be really, really easy. This has led me to a cave with more redstone. And I think after mining up these pieces, I've got all the redstone that I'm going to need. Now time to get out of here. Now with all this redstone, I can craft the rest of the stuff that I need. I also need to grab a couple of banners from my raid farm. They can be used in the build. And whilst I'm here, I might as well top up my shulker box with more totems. Since I've basically got millions and millions of them. Now I can get down to business and build this thing. First I need to place powered rails all the way along this with normal rails at the corners. Right here, we're going to have an activator rail. And on the edge of this, we're going to place ourselves a soul sand with a lever on top. We can start that and that can activate all of that. And in this gap right here, we're going to have an activator rail with a lever flicked on as well. And right here is going to be the place that picks up all the shulker shells. So we've got a hopper just like that. And then we're going to place slabs like that, one on top and a water right... Oh, not right there. <laughs> a water right there. And the shulker is going to get damaged by the water and we're going to get the shulker shell. And now I'm going to add power to all of these powered rails by adding levers part way along. And now that that's done, I need to build a big platform of slabs. And now this platform is complete. I need to grab these walls and add these all the way along here. There we go. And then we're going to come up one. We're going to go like this and we're going to create a nice border of walls all the way around the edge. And next I'm going to add some pillars that are 13 blocks tall. And now I need to create the pattern of how I'm going to build all of these pillars. And there we go. The pattern is complete. And I'm also going to have to place stairs on the corners. And that's because the shulker can then teleport onto the side of the stairs, but not on these sides, only that side. This is starting to get a little bit complicated. So I'll just shut up and place them all down. And right here is the place that the shulker is going to go. Next, we're going to add in the observers on that piece of string. And the rest of these observers are kind of going to be 
underneath like this. And I have now added in the bits for all the dispensers. It's probably the most complicated part. Um, I'm banging my head on something. Let's just move to there. There we go. And I kind of need to spawn proof some stuff so we can kind of add glass around. And there needs to be a button right here. Thankfully, I can easily do that. We can put glass like that. And yeah, this is kind of where the shulker is going to be trapped inside. And now begins the very fun task of bringing all these pillars up to be the correct height. And now every single pillar is complete, but I also need to do these staircase pillars. And there we go. I put buttons on top of all these pillars. And now I'm going to put trap doors on each one. These buttons are just temporary. They're going to get washed away once I add the water. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. And so now all the trap doors are going to get surrounded by walls. We're also get into a sad situation where I am pretty much out of food. I'm gonna have to sort that out shortly. I think I've placed every single wall that needs to be. I'm gonna build a little infinite water source right here and start placing water above every trap door. And there we go. Every single piece of water is down. Thankfully, because they're waterlogged, they're not freezing over. And now we need to place these above each one. Now I need to add slabs and add all the redstone. And now all the slabs are placed, I'm going to cover everything in redstone. And I have just had a disaster. I have completely run out of redstone. Looks like it's time to head back to the caves. And wow, what a cave this is. Found redstone very, very quickly. While hunting for redstone, I've managed to find diamonds. Ah, we, we don't need them. Aha, redstone, much more important. And now that I've got a stack, I'm pretty confident that should be enough. And look at that. One piece of redstone to spare. Although I do need this last piece as well, because we're going to place some redstone there. And then on top of that, a soul sand and then if I can get up there a lever on top of that and when we flick it it should activate all of them there might be something that doesn't reach and I need to adjust it yeah so over here I'm going to swap that out and instead place the redstone here same thing on this side same problem on this side but what we can do is instead change this to be a block and now it should reach. I'm going to stick a button on there so that a shulker can't teleport up. And if it's gone to plan, everything in here should be flooded. And now there is a few exposed sides, so I'm going to fill these up with either buttons or walls so we can kind of do something like that so that a shulker can't teleport onto here either. Perfect. Now these are all spawn proofed. I also need a couple of buttons right here. And I'm going to put a minecart right here so that that is going all the way around, no problem. Next, I need a pumpkin. Very convenient that I've got all of these. Let's carve it so it's got a face on it. And I also need some blocks of snow, but my netherite shovel is silk touch, so I can't get Get snowballs with that one. With these, we can turn them into snow blocks and begin the final part of the contraption. And that involves adding a few more slabs. And unfortunately, I'm going to need a little bit more redstone, so <laughs> back to caving. There's some right here that should be enough. And now I can do what I need to do. Right here is where the other shulker is going to be, so we're going to break that. Yeah, it's going to uh, be put into here. I feel like this bit is starting to get a bit more complicated, but <laughs> I think it's coming together. And this was all to create a bubble column that will then push it along here. I'm very close to being finished now. I'm just going to place that lever right there. We're going to have this right here. So this is basically the on off switch like that. There's going to be a wooden pressure plate right there, some lava here, and now all that's left to do is add in the shulkers. And apparently for this I'm going to need two, so I'm going to have to go and get a second shulker from the end. I just feel like it's too risky to try and duplicate the one I've already got. I successfully brought back another shulker from the end, and I built this massive minecart track, transported the first one up there, so he is now in the machine. This one just has to go in, and there we go, he's now, uh, he's now, okay, well I'm, I'm floating up with him now, <laughs> I was about to say he's, uh, he's floating up. Let's see if I can get up here before he teleports. There we go, okay, so you can see right now he's he's like being taken out of the minecart because he's landed on an activator rail and he's looking for a place to teleport to because he cannot stay on that minecart. Eventually he'll find that spot and go in there, but it can take a moment. There we go, he went in, perfect. And so now all this minecart track can be removed. And I only have one step left to fully finish this shulker farm. There we go, that track is now fully removed. I hope I never have to deal with a shulker ever again in my life. For this last part, we need a wall right here. I'm gonna place a temporary block there with a chest. Let's get rid of this. Then I'm gonna add some blocks in a bit of an L shape like this. And this bit could definitely go wrong, but we'll see what happens. We're gonna place some rails like that and then we're gonna place some blocks here. We're gonna spawn in our snow golem. Okay, I now need to get a minecart. I need to place it there before he wanders off. There we go, he's in it. And I'm gonna come around, push him back along, place a wall there, get rid of that wall. Uh-oh, 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 no. no. Are you kidding me? Well, it wouldn't be an SP video without some setbacks. Now, the only way I see out of this next bit is if I get rid of, yeah, that snow golem is days numbered, but I've just gotta, okay. Wait for that guy now to teleport. Look at this. The snow golem is attacking the shulker. <laughs> the shulker will have to teleport eventually. Turns out the water washed away a button, so the shulker just went right there. But if I place a block right here, it's going to make him teleport. Now, hopefully... Yeah, he's teleported in there. Perfect. Put that button there. And now for take two with the snow golem. So he's pushed up against the chest and against the wall. And now when I break this, the shulker should go down. No, not the shulker, the snow golem. And because this piston is extended, the farm is currently switched off. But if I unflood everything, okay, that should pick up all the water. Yep, indeed it has. And then if I flick this lever, everything should work. The shulker should try and shoot the snow golem. And when it does, I hopefully it works. So it's done its shot. Okay, the snow golem's gone in the air. All the water has activated. I mean, in theory, we should have a shulker 
somewhere at the bottom. We do look at that. Okay, I, I don't know if I have a minecart though. Oh my goodness, there's shulkers everywhere. <laughs> Let's grab a minecart. Put it right there so it's going round. Now it has picked up one shulker. It's not going to be able to pick up the other shulker. So it drops down. Perfect. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> Seems like there was a slight uh, misalignment. Let me just change that to there. Move that like that. Okay, it should now work. I'm just going to let you live down here permanently, I think. Yeah, why not? Now then, this shulker has been picked up. That's very good. He's dropped down there and he's going round. Perfect. And look at that. He just got taken out. If he dropped a shulker shell, it would have gone in the chest, but he didn't drop one. I'm going to try and show you how this farm works. As you can see right there, there's a piece of string. Now, when the other shulker upset, this shulker opens up, shoots itself, and uh, it duplicates into another shulker. The water washes that straight down. We didn't quite see that, but you can see there's now a shulker underneath here. The minecart picks him up and then drops down there. And because of the actor raid to rail, it gets the shulker out of the thing and then the shulker will get taken out by the water. Now, if I look at the chest, look at that. We got one shulker shell. And now to reorganize all my items. I forgot to mention that after I got the shulker, I also spent some time at my gold farm getting loads more blocks of gold so I can get more golden carrots. As you can see, we're not in short supply of the carrots. And this is the point where my inventory starts to get clogged up and filled with nuggets, but we can then turn them back into golden carrots. And there we go. That should be more than enough for now. Now that that's all done, I want to see how many shulker shells I've got. And look at that. We've already got a shulker waiting for us. He's just been taken out. And we've got four shulker shells already, which is pretty good because the shulkers don't drop the shell very often, which is why it's a little bit slower. But it'll be running in the background all the time. So we're going to eventually have loads and loads, more than we're ever going to need. Once again, I'd like to thank Ray's Works for the tutorial. I've linked his video down in the description. And I think what I'd like to do next is spend some time trying to get another notch apple because, you know, the more we have of those, the richer we are. And the best way to do it, I think, is just going to be to portal travel loads and loads of blocks away. I've portal traveled quite far, 33,000 blocks in the X and 16,000 in the Z. This should be new chunks. Now I've just got to try and find a desert. Finally, I have found a desert. Now the notch apple hunt can really begin. And this first one had lots of golden apples, but no notch apple. Here's the second one. Once again, no success. Nothing at the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and the sixth one did have one. Perfect. Another successful mission. It's great to be back home. Now I want to go and check on my amethyst farm. I think the amethysts are growing. It's just extremely, extremely slow. But there's still quite a bit of time before the machine is going to break all the clusters. So I, I think it should be okay. There is eight in there, but I don't think those are from the the farm. I think I put them there. And now for my next project, you'd think that this is the last thing that I would need to build. With all the amazing stuff I've done, I've got loads and loads of OP gear, but there's one item that I need much, much more of. That is cobblestone. Yes, we are going to build a cobblestone farm. But before that, let's see if we can get another blue axolotl. Let's give you a bucket of fish. Oh my goodness, all my axolotls again now. Oh no, they're going to eat me fish. Okay, blue one, you stay there. No, wait, he's got out as well. Oh no. Okay, this is, this is very bad. All right, I'm sorry, axolotls, but you are going to have... Do not eat my... Oh, my, what am I going to do? Let's get that guy in there. Both the axolotls are going to go... No, don't just swim back out. I'm telling you now, I'll use whatever it... This really is turning into a disaster. Get the feeling that my axolotls do not like being in there and they always want to escape. Take two. You have that. You have that. And we got another blue axolotl. We've got two. Now we can get millions. Okay, you guys... You're coming out of here. I would like to apologize to the three fish that lost their lives. Not that it's a massive problem. I can just put three more back in. And a fourth one for good measure. And these two yellow axolotls can now live in here. And from now on, I think I'm just going to stick to building. Thankfully, building a cobblestone farm is a pretty simple thing. And I think I'll build it right here. So this is the base for the farm. And I'm just going to add in some more water here. So we've got infinite water like that. That's flowing all the way to the end. And we've got chests along here with hoppers going into those. Let's also break this piece of crying obsidian and instead put one in the floor like that. And under the hoppers, I also want to have some crown obsidian. Let's add some glass above these chests and I want to add a blackstone border around the top. I'm going to add a roof of slabs above it so that the water doesn't freeze. A sign here just for safety and all that's missing now is the lava. But don't worry this is something that I have more than enough of. I'm also going to grab a bit of string. Let's add all of the lava along here. Cover the roof in string and now I can stand here mine to my heart's content and as you can see the cobblestone keeps regenerating. But how can I make it a little bit faster? Well to do that I need haste and I thought I'd be close enough to these beacons but obviously not. But the good thing about being as rich as me is you can just open a shulker box and build a new full beacon. And I think I want this one to come out of the water. That's the room dug out. Now let's add in all the iron blocks. That's now all filled in. Let's put the beacon right there and then we can make it give us haste two. I'm also going to quickly go to my house, grab a piece of blue glass and put it right there just so that it makes the beam blue, which when coming out of water just, just makes more sense. I'm also going to put an iron door here so that, it, you know, I'm, I'm in here. I'm a little bit safer. How am I going to get out of here? You may be wondering. Well, we just put a button there. Perfect. I suppose all that's left to do now is it's just mine to my heart's content. I've just had an idea how I could make this farm way, way faster. And although realistically it's not going to benefit me that it's any faster, I'm still going to do it. Because Minecraft is all about getting a pointless amount of items that you don't actually need. First, I'm going to place a row of stairs along here. So the idea is that I waterlog these stairs, which create something like this. And then if I place lava above it, it's going to create stone underneath. And the thing about stone 
is I can insta mine it with haste. So I think that's going to be faster. All I'll need to do is make sure I'm not using a silk touch pickaxe and go like this. And yeah, I think it's going to be faster. It basically goes as fast as it generates. What I'll do is I'll hold left click, press F3 and T, and now I'm hands free. And I'll just spend 10 minutes AFK here and see just how much cobble I get. And the beauty is that if I want stone instead, I just switch to my other pickaxe and it'll get me stone. So it turns out I was AFK here for a bit too long because my pickaxe broke. I completely forgot that that is something that could happen. So um, yeah, I've lost one of my pickaxes. I'm going to have to get another one of them. But on the positive side, look at all the cobblestone we've got. We've got all the cobblestone we could possibly need. And if you ever need stone, I can use it as a stone farm as well. And the other bit of good news is that it is finally snowing, which means these cauldrons are slowly filling up. And if I quickly head towards spawn, I can make it so that these ones fill instead since they're already partway full. And interestingly, for whatever reason, my shulker farm doesn't seem to be working when I'm not there, even though I'm pretty sure it's in the spawn chunks. But not to worry, I'll just AFK here for a little bit. I don't believe it. The snow has stopped and I still, there's still not quite a full cauldron. Oh my, I'm never going to get powdered snow at this rate. And the problem is that sleeping always resets the weather cycle. So if I want it to snow again, I just basically have to not sleep. And now that I have this cobblestone farm, I feel like it's worth making some double chests purely for cobblestone. They can go along here and I'm just going to grab some empty shulker boxes and fill them up. In fact, this is a good opportunity to craft some extra ones with my brand new shulker shells. This may take a bit of time to fill all of these up. I never thought I'd be this happy to see cobblestone. And there we go, successfully transported. Now I just need to replace my broken pickaxe. Thankfully, look at this. Nether the right ingots waiting for me. We've got diamonds. This probably isn't going to be too much of a problem. I will have to do some purchasing with these guys though to get my mending and also an efficiency five book. Put the efficiency five and the mending together, add it to this pickaxe and it's fully maxed out. And I believe the villager trading place does have a smithing table. There we go, netherite pickaxe. That's what we want. And now I can do my favorite thing. <laughs> go mining for cobblestone. It really doesn't get any better than this. I'm just kidding. I've got more important things to do, such as draining an ocean monument. I really can't wait till this project is finished and then I can build something really cool here. But for now, it's all about placing gravel and placing sponge. As you can see, guys, I have made massive, massive progress on this, but I'm going to stop for a bit because it is now thunderstorming and I do not want to miss this opportunity. This is one of the very rare chances where I can get the achievement of lightning, okay? If I very quickly grab my channeling trident and then shoot one of these guys. Okay, where is the thunder? I'm sh I did see lightning. I just murdered a villager for no reason there as well. Okay, yeah, we just had a lightning strike there. So why, why is it not working? Okay, I did it. I didn't realize you can literally just strike that with... Okay, yeah, you just strike a lightning rod with, with the trident and it, it does it. Okay, that's very, very easy, actually. I only just did that in time because now the, the rain has stopped. Unfortunately, right here, the powdered snow did not fill up enough. And I wasn't sure if these would fill when I'm not in the chunks because they're in spawn, but uh, they didn't. But it's still a good chance to check on my shulker farm and see how it's doing. Seven shulker shells at the moment. That's pretty good. It's very nicely working away for me. And that means that getting powdered snow is the only advancement that I have left. It's just a lot harder to get than I thought it would be. Let's breed a third blue axolotl. Look at that, perfect. We've also got to pick up a bucket and put it down again so it doesn't despawn. And I think it's finally time this ladder was removed as well as these ones here. And this tank can be patched up. If I grab this ice as well, it can be put in the roof and that is that completely done. I'm going to leave the chest for now though. I can't be bothered to move them. I wonder how the old bamboo farm has been doing. <laughs> Not very well, apparently. Okay, never mind. There's a chest underneath. I thought I'd got no bamboo at all. That was a little bit worrying for a second. And look at all this sugar cane. That's pretty good. Business is finally booming. And for my next project, I'm going to build a magma farm. And in order to build this, I'm going to need a lot of building blocks, a load of glass, and a load of other items. And that is nearly everything. Except I also need a couple of pumpkins. And this farm is the perfect place to get them. Apparently something's gone wrong. This minecart has got stuck, which is... Uh, it's not a good thing because there's loads of shulkers up there now. Let's carve both of these. And now we need to go to a basalt delta. And this seems like a pretty good spot to me. I'm going to place a couple of temporary blocks and a double chest just like this. Then we can get rid of those. And I can add all these chests in a line with hoppers on top. And I think instead of just using stone as building blocks, I'm going to use stone bricks. And then create a big platform right here. And on top of this, we're going to need loads of rails. And there we go. Next, I need blocks all the way along here and all the way along here. I also want to give power to all these powered rails. And levers are perfect for that. And this means that all the hopper minecarts can now be placed on top. And then I'm going to cover all of that up. And thanks to my boots, this is actually pretty quick. Next, I'm going to cover this in wither roses. Next, I shall encircle all of this in glass. And now on each side, I'm going to build out 12 block platforms. And then I kind of need to turn it into a bit of a circle and just kind of build around like this. Now that this outer ring is done, I need to fill in all the inside. And there we go. Next, I need to add a glass wall all the way around the edge. And we're also going to add some iron bars in the middle, which are going to hold the iron golem. Now the fun continues as I need to fill in another layer of stone 
stone bricks. Another layer done successfully. Next, I just need more walls. I'm also gonna need to add more iron bars right here, but this time make them too high. And next, I'm gonna add a roof to this thing. And thankfully, I don't have to fill in every single block, only just enough to stop gas from spawning. Perfect, that is now done. Next, I can come right here and build my iron golem. There we go. Then I need to just drop here, place a block right there, and then get back up to the top, break those, build another iron golem. Okay. How did you miss? No, 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 this is, oh, well, that's a disaster. Now I've got to go and get another pumpkin. And because I'm an idiot, the only pumpkins I have are at the melon farm. So I come all this way for one pumpkin and then just fly straight back. And let's now give it another go on getting this guy to land in the middle. There we go, that's much better. And now from this middle spot, I'm going to build up 108 blocks. And the tower is complete. I'm going to make a nice little platform at the top. And this is where I can sit and AFK to get magma cream. I also have to get rid of all of this dirt. And oh my goodness, there is a lot of magma cubes already. I'd say the farm is working pretty well. So now I'll spend a bit of time afk see how much i get quite a bit of time has passed let's see how much we've got well it looks to me like it is very very effective and look at all this magma cream by the looks of things it's close to 30 stacks which is great if you ever need a load of magma blocks i know where to go and now i've got a mountain to face yes i've decided that right here this this just looks too ugly and uh I've got some mining to do. I'm not going to destroy absolutely everything, but I just want to make it look a bit nicer and do a bit of deforestation whilst I'm at it. I've realized I need to move this beacon because the mountain is too far away. And mining up stone without haste is not very fun at all. This has turned out to be a slightly bigger project than I expected to be, but I'm, I'm getting close. Somehow my pickaxe still hasn't broken. I don't know why I ever built a cobblestone farm. I could have just come and mined this mountain, couldn't I? But I am now getting very, very close to completion. I won't pay any attention and, um... <laughs> My pickaxe is just broken. I had to make a comment, didn't I, that, oh, my pickaxe still hasn't broken somehow, and then it breaks. Yeah, I'm, I'm just stupid like that sometimes. I have to say, all things considered, it looks pretty good. Just want to get rid of these two trees. And you know what? I'll get rid of this one as well. And now I'd like to mine out all of the floor and then fill it in with dirt or grass blocks. I'm not quite sure how since I've just mined an entire mountain, but I've... <laughs> I've completely run out of dirt and grass. Not to worry though, I've got plenty at home. Also gives me an opportunity to deposit the cobblestone and also the normal stone. Now I can grab a load of dirt and a load of grass. It looks like if I'm quick, I can fill all of this in in time. And there we go, mission successful. Just want to quickly do this stone area as well. Perfect, so <laughs> yeah, some good progress made here. It looks completely different to how it did before. And as the sun sets on this world, that was 1,300 days in hardcore Minecraft.